Chris the Ferris here, CEO of Extreme Cage Fighting with my main man Terry from Brooklyn Mixed Martial Arts. We always have a lot of guys coming out of this camp fighting on ECF. Tell me, who do you got this time, brother? So I have three guys fighting on the 21st. We have Bruno McCullough, Brandon Santiago, and Albert Aguayo. Um, what you're going to see from these three guys is full spectrum of mixed martial arts. They can do everything, and they can do everything well. I'm excited to see them on the 21st. Enjoy the show. I'm here right now with Brandon Santiago. How do you do, Christian? Good to see you again, brother. He's uh, getting ready for his second fight. So, how do you feel, my man? I feel very well prepared. I've been prepared for a long time. Well, when I was in middle school, I used to get not only bullied by boys, but even girls would hit me. Holy crap. Well, yes. You know what they say, when a girl hits you, she likes you a little bit. So. <laughs> it's <hit> hard, though. <laughs> Tell me about it. I train a lot of hard-hitting females. At first, I would just go on YouTube and study jiu-jitsu videos. So you could say that was my first martial art. And I took a little more serious when I was 15 years old. I started Taekwondo, and okay. from there I just started building onto my base, and I ended up at mixed martial, Brooklyn Mixed Martial Arts. I'm here with Vernal McConnell. Training for ECF 18, October 21st. This is the first time he'll be on my show, and I'm really excited to see the fight, man. How do you get into this game, this crazy little fight game we call MMA? Yeah, man. Actually, this is the same shit in my life, man. Yeah, man. I was getting a lot of trouble growing up, you know. One day, I just looked up mixed martial arts on Google. Yeah. Looking mixed martial arts. Oh, yeah. So I came to check this place out. Came here one day, fell in love. Who inspired you? What? Who motivated you to become a martial artist? Be honest, man. It was my baby mom. She, she's the one that actually believed in me, man. She's like, yo, you can fight, you can do it, you're tough enough. You know, All right. Give it a try. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Man, that's a beautiful thing, man. You need people who believe in you. Yeah, definitely. Man. That's yeah. awesome. Alright, I'm here with Alberto from BK MMA. How do you feel right now? I'm feeling great, on weight, yeah. training hard here every day, training great way to de-stress, to get your mind off school, studying, off of work, anything. It's just great to come in and spend time training. I'm actually glad he brought that up because you know what? It's true. A lot of people out there don't realize that New York is such a hard place to grind out here, Miss Martial Artist. Everybody here is either going to school full time and training or working full time and going to school and training. You know what? A lot of people use school or work as an excuse not to train. And this guy's saying it's a reason to train. It's a great way to de stress. And you know what? I tell my students this all the time. You can't just study 12 hours straight. You won't retain anything. But if you take a little break in between, your box, your shadow box, you get knocked around, you knock somebody around a little bit. Next thing you know, you're retaining all that knowledge a little bit better because you had that short break in between. Yeah. Get ready. October 21st, Seek and Destroy is bringing it to you. Push, push.